I'm gonna show you a quick way to load your boat on the trailer with just a trolling motor. Now, keep in mind, my trailer, this trailer is gonna be a little bit different than yours. Every, every trailer is different, but this will give you a general idea to kind of help you understand how to, in a worst case scenario, get your boat on the trailer and get it home and get it to the repair shop. You're gonna run this trolling motor as quick as you can towards this boat trailer. And you wanna keep a constant eye on that back brace because you gotta pull your trolling motor up right before you get to it. So if this is the brace, this is your trolling motor coming to it, you gotta pull it up at the last possible second. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna back the boat, or you're gonna turn your boat around, get up a little head of steam, and then so you can glide, glide a little bit further up on the trailer. So when you back the trailer down, you wanna give yourself about three foot of slack in the, in the winch strap. And that's gonna let you, give you a little bit of wiggle room because you're not always gonna be able to get your boat all the way up to the roller on the first crack. I mean, it just depends on the incline of your ramp and whatnot. So this one's a little bit steeper. So I imagine I'm gonna to have to, I'm gonna to have to, you know, really lay on my stomach probably, get that winch and snap it to the bow hook. I got this motor guide on five. I'm gonna line up as straight as I can you're not always gonna get perfect. Just wanna get between the two bunk boards. To get close, I'm gonna pull this trolling motor up. Right now. All right, perfect. So I'm, my bow, or the keel of the boat, is in these bunk boards. That's the most important thing. So get the front lined up. The bat's gonna float around a little bit, but we can adjust that later. So I'm gonna grab this strap and make sure it's straight. You don't want any twists. Lay on my stomach. And I'm gonna hook this strap to the bow hook. Okay, look pretty straight. So what I'm gonna do next, be a little bit of a gymnast. I'm gonna climb onto the trailer and get on dry land first. All right. All right, now that I'm on dry land, I'm gonna start winching it up. So this is the part that can kind of spin people out. So right now, what do you do? Your bow is a good, you know, 10 to 12 inches beneath the roller. Instead of backing your boat off and doing it again and stressing yourself out, by far the easiest thing to do to fix this is just pull your truck up a couple feet. You know, again, every, every trailer is gonna be a little bit different, but this one, I'll pull it up about two, three, maybe four feet. I'll watch in, that, in my rear view, and when that bow starts to lift, as I pull the truck up, I'll stop, and I should be able to crank it the rest of the way up. All right, so I'm gonna lift this bow. I'm gonna slowly, Press the gas as I take my foot off the brake. That bow's lifting. That should be above the roller. So now, this is, this is the easy part. Inch, inch. It's just gotta be just a hair above that roller and you can let the roller do its job. All right, and make sure everything's square in the back, that your boat's not hanging off to one side. This is completely straight. So now all I gotta do is pull the rest of the way out, take the plug out, strap it up, and head to the house and get some lunch.